My name's Jim McCauley and uh, I'm currently studying for uh, BSc in Integrated Technologies Engineering. Um, and the, uh, this is our uh, project for the actually the Integrated Technologies module, um, which involves us uh, collaborating on a project to answer a specific brief um, using Integrated Technologies. The brief um, was to move a biological item that was by definition fragile um, from one point to another yeah, uh, using integrated technology. And integrated technologies in, in this day and age really could cover a multitude of sins really. Um, but uh, we, there's a lot of people in our group who are involved in engineering, in um, manufacturing engineering and that, which features a lot of robotic arms and things like that. So we wanted to integrate technology like the robotic arm to load and unload the egg that we chose as our biological item. And then it's going into a remote control car that is fully automated. We don't have any control over that. It uh, stops and starts by itself. And uh, then other members of the group work in places where they do 3D printing and things like this. So the, the trailer and everything else has been 3D uh, printed and manufactured by us solely. We uh, split off into smaller groups from the main um, course, yeah, to concentrate on individual sections. So one group took the car, another group took the development of the robotic arm, another group took 3D printing of components like the grab components and earlier renditions or versions of the cup uh, to carry the eggs and things like that. And then we negotiated between each other, if that's the right word, at various points to see whether we're all singing off the same hymn sheet. So the car uses two technologies to get around the tech track. One is this um, tracking follower, which is underneath, which picks up the black of the track against any other color background, which keeps it going around the oval, yeah. And then we're using the technology on the front, which is basically kind of an avoidance technology. So we've got our stop barrier here and a signal is sent out from that and then the echo timing determines how close it is. So we've just got it set at that distance, but you can adjust that, yeah. So when there's something in front of it like that, it'll stop automatically by itself.